Automation is an event-triggered system that automates feature coordination. It is predefined events that connect to a series of actions and or conditions based on the business requirement. In other words, it is a sequence of events that you create to help execute various business processes. EngageBay allows you to trigger automation when a user performs a certain action or condition. You can further associate that trigger with another action. The, here is the list of triggers that you can select in the sales module. Deal track changes, triggers when a deal track changes. Deal milestone changes, triggers when a deal milestone is changed. Deal created, triggers when a new deal is created. Tag added to company, triggers when a tag is added to a company name. Event created, triggers when an event is created. Task added, triggers when a task is added. Task status change, triggers when the task status is changed. Tag added, triggers when a tag is added to a deal. Tag removed, triggers when a tag is removed from a deal. Deal updated, triggers when a deal is updated. While creating workflow automation, you can specify the event's condition to make sure your action is only triggered when an event meets those specific conditions. Let's look at each of these and actions and conditions in our automation builder. Actions. Add to sequence, add a contact to a sequence. Remove from sequence, remove a contact from a sequence. Add tag, add a tag to a contact. Remove tag, remove a tag from a record. Delay, delay for a certain amount of time. Wait till, wait until the following condition is met. Scheduler, execute an action on a certain date and time. Set property, set or delete property to a contact. Add to list, add a contact to a list. Remove from list, remove contact from a list. Add to form, add a contact to a list. Remove to form, remove a contact from a list. Send email, send an automated email to the contact based on certain conditions. Add score, add value to a contact based on an action. Star rating, give a star rating to a contact, bad, poor, average, great, and excellent. Update contact status, add a confirmed or unconfirmed status to contact for sending emails. Send push notification, send push notification to the contact. Send SMS, send SMS to a contact. Voice call, make a voice call to a contact. Add new note, add a new note to the contact. Assign owner, assign deals equally among the selected users. Add to workflow, enroll in another workflow. Remove from workflow, remove a contact from a workflow. Remove from automation, remove an action from automation. Conditions. Custom field, if the contact has a certain custom field. Tag, if the contact has a tag. A-B testing, run an A-B testing. Has opened email, if the contact has opened the email within the predefined timeline. Has clicked on a link, if the contact has clicked on a link within the predefined timeline. Has call log, has a call log within a certain frame of time. Check SMS status, check the status of the sent SMS. Exists in workflow, if a contact is in a certain workflow. Has event, when the subscriber has an event as described. Has completed workflow, if contact has completed a workflow. Has completed automation, if contact has completed an automation. Has subscriber replied, if a subscriber has replied within the predefined timeline. Has URL visited, if the contact has visited a URL within the predefined timeline. Has completed broadcast, if contact has part of a broadcast. Contact score is, if contact score reaches a certain condition and value. Contact source is, when a contact is added from a specific source. Contact has owner, when contact has a specific owner as mentioned. Let's create an automation with deal, created as trigger at a task. In the sales module, 
please click on the main menu Automations. Click on Create Automation on the top right. Enter the name of the automation in the pop-up that appears and click on the Submit button. Click on Create Automation. Select the trigger deal, Created. Click on the plus icon on the top right. Select the action node, Add New Task. Enter the node name. Enter the task name. Select the type of the task. Select the priority. Enter the description of the task. Select the due date. Select the owner of the task. Select the status of the task. Click on the button Add Action. Now connect the nodes. Click on the Save button on the top right and make sure it is in the published mode. This automation will be triggered automatically when a deal is created and adds a task. Thoughts to the right of the automation that you want and you will find seven different options. 1. Edit, it is used to edit the automation. 2. Duplicate, it is used to duplicate the automation. 3. Share, it is used to share the automation with a different user who has an Engage Bay account. When you click on it, it will ask you to enter user email address where you need to enter the Engage Bay's registered email address of the account. 4. Download reports, it is used to download reports. 5. Activities, it is used to check the activities on the automation. 6. Mark as draft. It is used to mark the published automation as a draft. 7. Delete. It is used to delete the automation. The graph icon on the automation. In the left pane, you will find three options. 1. Contacts. 2. Email reports. 3. SMS reports. 1. Contacts. It will show all the contacts on which the automation was triggered. In the right pane, you will find a drop down with different options like active, completed, recipients, delivered, etc. You can select the option you want and it will show the contacts accordingly. 2. Email reports. It will show you all the emails that you have sent through the automation along with their reports. To check the contacts to which the email was sent, click the three dots to the right of email and select contacts. It will show all the contacts. You can select the date from the date picker on the top right. You will also find a drop down on the right side with the options like recipients, delivered, opens, clicks, Select the option and it will show the data accordingly. You will also find an option to select the contacts and add them a tag or add them to a static list from the bulk action. 3. SMS reports. It will show the SMS reports if you are sending SMS through automation.